there are an enormous number of stars. Only some of them will have planets suitable for life. On only some of those worlds will intelligence arise. And perhaps a few of those civilizations will avoid the trap jointly set by their technology and their passions. If there are many civilizations, one of them should be rather close by. If there are few civilizations, then even the nearest may be very far away. So, if civilizations do not always destroy themselves shortly after discovering radio astronomy, then the sky may be softly humming with messages from the stars, with signals from civilizations enormously older and wiser than we. If there are millions of technical civilizations in the Milky Way, each capable of radio astronomy, how far away is the nearest one? If they're distributed more or less randomly through space, then the nearest one will be some 200 light years away. But within 200 light years, there are hundreds of thousands of stars. To find the needle in this haystack requires a dedicated and systematic search. There are many cosmic radio sources having nothing to do with intelligent life. So how would we know that we were receiving a message? The transmitting civilization could make it very easy for us if they wished. Imagine we're in the course of a systematic search or in the midst of some more conventional radio observations. And suppose one day we find a strong signal slowly emerging, not just some background hiss, but a methodical series of pulses. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, a signal made of prime numbers, numbers divisible only by one and themselves. There is no natural astrophysical process that generates prime numbers. We would have to conclude that someone fond of elementary mathematics was saying hello. This would be no more than a beacon to attract our attention. The main message will be subtler, more hidden, far richer. We may have to work hard to find it. Think of the glories of an exotic civilization far more advanced than we, collected by the great radio telescopes of Earth. The receipt of an interstellar message would be one of the major events in human history and the beginning of the deprovincialization of our planet. A serious and systematic radio search for extraterrestrial civilizations may come soon. It's comparatively inexpensive. A search taking decades would cost less than the budget overruns on a single modest weapons system in a single year. But whether there are only a few advanced galactic civilizations or millions, shouldn't some of them have voyaged to Earth. There are many possible answers, including the contention that they have come here, although the evidence for that is pitifully slim. Or there may be no one else out there, because they destroy themselves, with almost no exceptions, before they achieve interstellar flight. Or maybe because in a galaxy of 400 billion suns, ours is the first technical civilization. A more likely explanation, I think, arises from the simple fact that space is vast and the stars are far apart. Even if there were civilizations much older and much more advanced than we, expanding out from their home worlds reworking new worlds, and then continuing onward to other stars, they would be unlikely to be here, yet. And because the speed of light is finite, 
the TV and radar news that a technical civilization has arisen on some planet of the sun has not reached them yet. Should optimistic estimates prevail and one in every million stars shelters a nearby technological civilization and if as well they're randomly strewn through the Milky Way then the nearest one we recall would be a few hundred light years distant at the closest maybe a hundred light years more likely a thousand light years and of course perhaps nowhere no matter how far suppose just just for discussion suppose the nearest civilization on a planet of another star is say 200 light years away then some 150 years from now they'll begin to receive our feeble post-world war ii television and radar emission what will they make of it with each passing year the signal will get louder more interesting perhaps more alarming eventually they may respond by returning a radio message or by visiting in either case the response will likely be limited by the finite value of the speed of light with these admittedly wildly uncertain numbers the answer to our unintentional mid-century call into the depths of space will not arrive until around the year 2350. If they're farther away, of course, it'll take longer. And if much farther away, much longer. But the beacon signal alone would be profoundly significant. It would mean that someone has learned to survive technological adolescence, that self-destruction is not inevitable, that we also may have a future. Such knowledge, it seems to me, might be worth a great price.